good morning students today we are going to discuss about the mughal empire named jahangir jahangir is the eldest son of akbar the great akbar died in the year 1605 but there was friction between jahangir's son that is akbar's grandson and jahangir for the throne the name of jahangir's son is kusru so kusru was supported by a sikh religious leader named arjun dev ultimately jahangir became the mughal emperor so naturally arjun dev was caught by jahangir and he was executed the response of that execution was the angry mindset created in the mind of the six against the mughal emperor from that period onwards we can see six were unhappy and angry with the mughals but they could do very less during that time but later on things change that is a uh, about jahangir jahangir as such in the historical textbooks we don't find much contribution about him he was a very good artist and he was really immersed in his artistical activities and drawing pictures very less care was taken over by him over the administration later he married to a lady named Mitrunsia This lady was renamed as Noor Jahan by Jahangir Noor Jahan means light of the world She began to control even the emperor himself She appointed her friends relatives family members different positions of uh, mughal empire so really the administration has gone into the hands of uh, noor jahan and we must understand europeans have come to india in the year 1498 that is vasco de gama landed in calicut he came through the sea cape going around the cape of good hope so they were trying to have relationship with india east india company was formed after 100 years of mughal empire as period or arrival of the europeans 1600 east india company was formed and east india company had sent its representatives to india to have trade a person named thomas ro went to jahangir asked for permission to have trade in india but could not get blanket permission but he was given a permission to have trade in surat surat was the important trading for the 
Britishers and all the Europeans at that time. It was important ship anchoring center, we can say harbor. So the Britishers arrival and British and when East India Company was trying to control more naturally Jahangir and other Mughal emperors began to support other Dutch and French. So conflicts were created among them. And Mughal Empire was not having any naval force to defend itself from the naval activities of these Europeans. So they began to dominate the coastal lines of India. The Europeans began to dominate the coastal lines of India during this period. This domination led to other problems that later the domination of Europeans in India. Jahangir tried to have a good relationship with the foreigners but it was not successful. Even uh, during this period we can see I have already told you Noor Jawah Khan was having the administrative activities. Even the coins were printed or stamped on her name, not in the name of the emperor. That much influence she wielded in the Mughal palace. That is uh, the administrative setup she had created in Mughal palace. And Jahangir died when he had gone to Kashmir to enjoy the Kashmir beauty because of the severe cold he died. So his contribution as such to the Mughal Empire is very less we can say because his father Akbar had established a very good empire. Akbar has created a good relationship with the local people of India. So that respect that Akbar gained was continued and followed by Jahangir. That he got. That is the activities. And he was a great, very good friend. So he supported art, music, etc. That is the Jahangir. After the Jahangir's son, uh, death, we can see his son named Shah Jahan. There was a conflict between the brothers of Shah Jahan to come to power. That is Shah Jahan. And all of them he was put them into jail. That's why Shah Jahan asked him after becoming the emperor. So we can see even no, uh, the hunger time his son that is uh, Shah Jahan's brother, elder brother. Kusru himself was trying to dethrone his father and trying to become them. Now Shah Jahan, naturally, all the sons of Jahangir, they, they wanted, to, all of, wanted to become the rulers. All of them were trying to get that post. And ultimately, it has gone to the hands of uh, Shah Jahan. Shah Jahan, in the history of India, has contributed in the field of architecture. You know, world famous structures are there in India. First, number one is our Taj Mahal that was being constructed during the reign of Shah Jahan. And if you go to Delhi or at Fort, it was also being constructed by Shah Jahan. And there's another palace in Agra, Agra Palace. It was constructed by Shah Jahan. So, so many architectural contributions are given by Shah Jahan. The mosque in Delhi, Juma Masjid, this is just opposite to Red Fort. It was also constructed by Shah Jahan. So, architectural contributions of the Shah Jahan is something great. If you go to 
that fort you can see that beautifully constructed and there are chairs kept places for meetings of the public places for the meetings of uh, all the ordinary people everything was properly designed and constructed during the reign of shah jahan that is what we must understand and shah jahan had some kind of some conflicts some or attacks on different kings of india may he has attacked the mewar kangara and he has sent his son who becomes later emperor of delhi that is aurangzeb to bundelkhand and orcha all these areas were conquered by shah jahan and you know portuguese had come to india by this time they had conquered goa 1510 and they were trying to influence the coastal area so he had controlled the portuguese activities you must understand portuguese had conquered goa goa was under the control of adil shah is during this time 1510 from adil shah is only portuguese conquered goa and you must understand portuguese are the first european powers to come to india and conquer india and they, they were the last to go out of india the govern independence the conflict with the portuguese in 1960 you must understand they came to india in 1498 and they conquered goa in 1510 and they are leaving india they are forced to go out of india in 1961 till that time 1410 1510 to 1961 portuguese ruled goa they controlled goa and administration from there they started their trading activities like there we see the control of pondicherry by the french then control of uh, all over india by the britishers shah jahan wished to capture kandahar kandahar also in central asia then he conquered gujarat and kandesh so the constructions of uh, taj mahal and red fort are the great contributions of uh, shah jahan shah jahan died ad 1666 but his son arrested him in the year 1658 and put him in jail the jail was in agra palace and from there he could see taj mahal so taj mahal was constructed as a memorial structure for his wife named mumtaz so these are the contributions of uh, shah jahan he tried the taxes and all those things as per the activities or steps taken by akbar he tried to follow some of the steps taken by akbar as it is so now let's see tomorrow the last mughal emperor that is uh, aurangzeb so aurangzeb becomes the last and powerful mughal emperor further we will learn in this chapter thank you very much